Welcome to your activation for abduction and adduction. So abduction and adduction. Okay. So your internal and external rotations. So uh, this uh, practice will help you prepare for your hips exercises and it will help open and gain better range of motions in your hips for side movements okay so we call this the frontal plane if you want i will have some um, progressions for your exercises you will be using the loop band for these ones okay so the first exercise that we do is a classic is called the clams um, so the way i teach the clam is to ensure that first off we have hip, chest, shoulder and elbow aligned. So we have a straight line of the body. I like to also have my knees facing my hips and my feet kind of like pull backwards. Yeah, so I squeeze into my heels here. Then at the beginning, I try and make sure that my hips are like pulling forward rather than back. That's a very important component for your clam. You want to make sure your hips stay stacked above each other and that you don't flare the rib cage up okay so we got a slight pull of the tailbone you should be feeling your pelvic floor activating here the first part of the exercise is to simply open the thigh up to up to the point where you can't open that leg anymore without collapsing your hip okay once you're here if you see my feet are flexed and i am squeezing my heels like there is some magnet pulling them together okay so that uh, adds a little bit of element in your glutes and pull into your pelvic floor so we come down take an inhale and then when we exhale we open we take an inhale and then we exhale we open okay so keep practicing these until you feel comfortable ensure that you're not collapsing in your shoulder either we keep pushing through the armpit and through your core if you start having you find this quite easy we can progress this to full lifts when you arrive at the full lifts again don't collapse back try and take a little bit of a hip thrust to the front giving an extra squeeze into your glutes and a bit more engagement into your pelvic floor we come down and we lift once you get used to this you can obviously lift the arm up and push down really make sure that we're not collapsing those hip back yeah so keep those hips nice and high and also not collapsing into your shoulder once we progress this you can use your booty band or your loop band i'm going to go on the other side just to demonstrate if you find that you keep collapsing on that shoulder you can also lie down remember just try and focus on the alignment here quality over quantity and try and find your limited range so as you can see, I don't really open the leg that much. Think about where you feel it rather than pushing it. Okay. Once you arrive here, then we can progress. Remember, we progress. We try and push that hip. We keep that hip stacked above each other. And then finally, your progression with your band. Stay aware of where your hip is. And pull as well into your pelvic floor. Okay, perfect. Good. Your second exercise will be your fire hydrants. So same, we're also working the external rotation where we come on all four, push the ground away, try not collapse into the shoulders as well here and gently just tuck that rib cage in to find that alignment. I still gaze in between my fingers and I'm simply going to lift the leg to the side as well. Yes, so this one is kind of easy. But again, it's also easy to compensate and collapse. So keep that 90 degree angle and try and find that strength. Okay, use that breath. Again, finding that too easy, then you can progress putting your loop band around your thighs one more time. My hands are under my shoulders, I, and my neck is long, my shoulders are nice and strong. I push the ground away, okay? And I kick. And I kick. You can also enjoy a little bit of pulses at the top when, with this kind of exercise. Up, up, up. Same with the clams, you can also add some 
pulses if you feel like you need that bit of extra burn, okay? Good, third exercise is your kneeling hip opener. So with this one, the kneeling hip opener, you want to be facing forward, knees are hip width apart, okay? So I am taking my heel and I align it with my knee here. Then I straighten my leg out. If you are quite tight, just bring it a little bit more closer to you. We attempt to open that knee. So at no point the knee should be knocking down. It should be staying in alignment with your leg. This is already quite hard. I tuck my tailbone in, yeah? We're not folding, folding forward for this one, okay? Um, so we try and keep again the hip square. And this is very, very good to open the groin, open your adduction, okay? And we are simply just moving in and out, trying to keep that alignment. So I'm using my hand to keep on pushing my knee. If you find that easy, then we can progress to a little bit lower. Make sure that your shin stays again in line with your knee. Okay, so progressing is by just keeping on giving length into your body. This also is a very good stretch to hold after training. Very nice. And also making sure that you tuck that tailbone. You can do some pelvic rocks here. This is also a nice activation exercise. Okay. And then you repeat to the other side. Okay. So what we try and attempt keeping is pelvis staying nice and strong and neutral. Finding that alignment. Finding where we struggle to keep that knee open. And tuck that tailbone. Open the front of the hip and move forward and back, okay? So I really push to open that part. And the last exercise will be your Cossack lunges. So you can start them standing. We kind of sit back into a straddle, keeping both feet nice and flat and up. So this is like your sort of little depth as a warm up. Make sure that your knees again, stay kind of in line with your foot you can lean back a little bit if necessary. Your progression here will be to have the feet um, a little bit wider and your hands on the floor. And then we try and take it a little bit lower. Both feet are staying flat. And as you can see, I'm trying not to come on my toes. I keep flat, so I lean back. Lean back, sit back. We really sit back, yeah? So sit back as you practice this and find your length in your inner thighs. Great. So again, when we practice this exercise before your workout, try and do between two and all of the exercises. If you are doing this, you want to do between 10 and 15 repetitions at a time, between two and three sets, when it, depending on how much time you have. If you're practicing this on their own, then I invite you to practice full exercise and do a maximum amount of repetitions and do a maximum amount of sets as well. You can go up to four sets in that case. I hope that it will help you and I wish you a great practice.